So usually, I've written this piece in 1981, and it was called uh, Could Not Hear Charlie Parker One Day When WRVR, a jazz station, turned to country. We moved once, taming and riding the north winds with railroad ties unbounded. Saturday spring morning, morning the lost and on the moose, Kenny Rogers, the gambler, playing, and I combing my long washed tangled hair while the child plays in the backyard. The 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 con 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 fusion blood that nobody could comply in wisdoms unknown. Uh, I was born out west, Portland, Oregon. I mean, call that God's country. But, um, so this is a vignette of my uh, life, kind of. One, she'd say, always eat in silence. Never do or say violent things on Chinese celebrations. Stay home and cook the meals. Do the house chores and you'll marry someday, even though I felt like yelling, no! Daddy was Americanized, who fought in World War II, North Africa, liked gambling, driving to the forest and go fishing. He lived in the attic with house and garden next to his bed, wanting to forget the so-called responsibility of three children just getting drunk and rambling on and on to defy racism. Only once on Christmas, making a night visit, I heard Daddy whistled and tiptoed into the house. He set two velvet boxes on the desk, and I stood up on my crib. Daddy, teach me to whistle. He told me to curl your tongue, tighten your lips, and whistle. I don't think I could do it now. <laughs> had a little sangria. <laughs> he told, oh, right. He left behind one cameo set, the gold wrap round the black stone, the other inset with a faceted pink glass in a fleur de -lis shell sparkling the eyes. His daughters felt like ladies of exquisite designs but never had you heard my whistled melody. Two, they argued while watching Father Knows Best. My eyes glued to the screen, my ears filled with their shouts, their decision pulling the family apart, screaming of who knows best. My tongue nodded, just holding back as I saw a mother and a father hug each other, turn and smile, at their bubbly children and then waved to the audience. She left the Northwest coastline once matched, married, and divorced. She took her children to New York City. She learned to throw sadness away, remarried. We never mentioned the sorrow of leaving home because we always ate in silence. So, I don't know, this is called Woman on Broadway and 95th Street, like we all want to be on Broadway. Love betrayals that become conspiracy theories. A woman screams on Broadway carrying an empty baby's chair. The cop car's coming and people are watching. A black woman, she screams in anguish. She looking at the man, her face in contortions, twisted and screaming, pointing at him. I'm gonna kill him. One man hollering, come here, get in the taxi. She stands, then bends, and opens her mouth. 
and anguish. No sound is no sound is emitted, but she feels oh how I, it hurts to see that empty toddler's chair held in her hand. How it hurts! How it hurts to feel the needle in the womb and extract premature flesh. How I feel! I feel the tears roll around the curves of my bones and hollow is the womb. Ooh.